I want you to consider for a moment an elderly person with Alzheimer's who has wandered off into the woods at night. They're lost, confused, and in real danger if not found. Historically, a response to this type of incident would involve a coordinated ground-level search team, which, depending on the area to be searched and the number of resources available, could take hours or even days. Members of the search crew would start with the area the individual was most likely to be found, and depending on the terrain, proceed from there either on foot or sometimes in vehicles. Vehicles have limited access, and foot travel is inevitably slow. Using these methods alone, the only way to expedite the search would be to cut back on how thoroughly the area was being covered. Now I want you to imagine that same search and rescue mission, but with the addition of a drone. This drone not only has an aerial camera with zoom capabilities and the ability to fly 50 miles per hour, but can also cover pre-programmed grid patterns to ensure no area goes unsearched and use a thermal imaging camera capable of honing in on the specific heat signature of a human body, highlighting this on the screen. Which mission do you think has the greater likelihood of being more successful? Most of us have heard about drones in some form or fashion by now, but what you may not have considered is the immense benefit that this technology can afford to public safety. As a captain for a local fire department, my focus and experience lies primarily within the fire service. Over time, the fire service has evolved to become more and more of an all-hazards agency. What this means is that we don't just respond to fires anymore, but also to search and rescue missions, hazardous materials calls, water rescues, natural disasters, and a host of other emergency types. As anyone in the fire service will tell you, situational awareness is of the highest importance. The more timely and comprehensive our knowledge of the situation, the more safely and effectively we can respond. Drones can play a significant role in answering this critical need. We saw this with the search and rescue mission, but what other emergency types might this apply to? If you would take that same drone above the skies of a large department store fire, the incident commander of that scene can continuously monitor changes in fire conditions, the effectiveness of hose streams, and even the structural integrity of the building to ensure detection of early collapse potential. Each of these pieces of information could be the difference between life and death for anyone inside the building. Armed with the knowledge that the fire has moved to a new location, the incident commander can alert interior crews and redirect hose streams. Seeing on that same thermal imaging camera that a steel roof support structure has reached 1,000 degrees, which is the temperature when steel begins to expand and inevitably collapse, the incident commander can, can order an evacuation before an otherwise tragic ending. And what about that hazardous materials call? with the ever-expanding purple cloud of who knows what. Flying a drone into that area can rapidly and safely acquire crucial information, such as hazard placards, the presence or absence of life safety situations, and even live stream hazardous materials uh, data readings back to the command post. All of this can be done much more safely and quickly than by performing the same task with individuals on the ground. The potential uses for drones within public safety are truly just beginning to be realized, with advances in technology occurring every day. Currently, all flights must occur within the unaided line of sight of a visual observer. What this means is that the pilot or their designee must maintain eye contact with the drone at all times without the use of binoculars or similar visual aids. As you can imagine, this significantly cuts back on many of the potential uses for drones within public safety. As technology continues to improve and those involved with the integration of drones and public safety continue to engage local and federal lawmakers, there is a real chance that we could see beyond line of sight use of drones within the next five years. And what might this look like? I want you now to imagine that same department store fire, except this time when the call comes in 
a drone automatically launches from the nearest fire station, flies to the GPS coordinates of the building on fire, does a 360-degree aerial assessment of the situation, and live streams this video feed information back to a computer in the front seat of a fire engine just as it's leaving the station. <coughs> this would provide crucial information to responding crews just moments after the incident occurs and allow much earlier strategic decision-making while still en route to the call. Now I want you to imagine somebody who has just collapsed in cardiac arrest or whose airway is rapidly closing due to a life-threatening <coughs> allergic reaction. In some more rural areas of the country and during times of extremely high call volume, there is a potential that the nearest ambulance is 20 minutes away or more. These individuals don't have 20 minutes. Their chances of survival <coughs> approach 0% after that long without oxygen. What if a drone could fly an AED, which is a device used by laypersons to shock the heart back to a functioning rhythm, or an EpiPen, also used by laypersons, to effectively halt the forward progression of a life-threatening allergic reaction, and could fly these pieces of equipment and medication directly to the scene after automatically launching as soon as the call comes into the dispatch center. This would drastically decrease the amount of time it takes for these life-saving measures to reach the side of the person in need. And these are just a few of the current and potential uses for drones within public safety. And success stories are already numerous. Just last month, in a cornfield north of Minneapolis, a six-year-old boy was found after being lost overnight. He was found by a thermal imaging camera attached to a drone. This was after the combined efforts of 600 individuals on the ground had been unable to locate him. Moving forward, by continuing to focus on improvements in technology and the engagement of public policymakers, we can improve these current operations and turn future-focused ideas into life-saving realities. Thank you.